I have to, have to practice for Evo on this one, clearly. Well, there is that, that weird competitive mode that we're never going to boot up. I mean, fuck, Sonic Fighters exist, so why are we even front? Yeah. If you're going to make an Evo like joke slash reference. Sand Ocean. This is a shadow. Steel Ball Run. Oh, this is, okay, this is Eggman, right. Stone Ocean, all of them. Oh. I don't know about you, like... You know, it's fine, whatever you like, but like... Oh, right, I don't uh, have hover jets. <laughs> I was literally going to say, man, yeah, I kind of... I forgot I don't have I, hover jets. You know, Eggman's a fine antagonist. I have no interest in... Like, me personally, I have no interest in controlling Eggman in any shape, way, or form. I'm... I'm Like, it's fine. It's all right. He's, it's good that he's in a mech suit, because otherwise I would totally agree with you and I'd be like, fuck this, I don't want to play that man. But, but here's the thing. Whenever, the mech suit makes him interesting. Whenever some game, like, I'm out pointing fingers, Netherrealm, but when you have to go, our villain can only fight people when you put in a mech suit, I don't think your villain, like, I'm Lex Luthor, I don't think your villain should be in the thing. You know what I mean? It's not, that's not what they're there for. I mean, I Even if there's precedence in comics I, and source material, I think Eggman works great because this whole thing is like I'm oh, gonna build robots uh, and I'm gonna fight Sonic and it, the robots. No, I'm not saying know. Eggman is. is oh, okay, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, that does you make just don't sense. Like Lex. Yeah, yeah, just there's certain characters where like for Sonic is just don't yeah. take it too seriously, but like, like I just kind of feel like you know, if you have a whole host of characters like tons of villains like DC or Marvel or whatever. Like, why would you put in the character that doesn't really fight when you I have mean, so many choices of characters that do? I mean, in all fairness, there are no good things to go for with DC. With DC, you're just fucked for choice. You got, you got nothing. <laughs> there's, there's, to be fair, like, maybe not Injustice 1, but God, Injustice 2 did, like, sh like I, 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 I don't know anything about Lobo, really. Mm -hmm. But then when Lobo came out, wait, no, he was DLC for Injustice One. Yeah, he was. He was on the cover of Ultimate Edition. With yeah, yeah, Satana. okay. Th there was a couple of characters where I was like, oh, I don't really know anything about this guy. And then when I actually like looked into it, because Injustice had them in, I was like, oh, they're pretty cool. I'm Doctor no doubt, Fate's yeah. kind of cool. Like, no, I, I, I'm talking mad shit, but like Captain oh, yeah, Frost, I'm no Captain Cold, not cool. No matter how what, cool. What's Captain the Cold's power? I had heat. Okay. Is it actually just? No. Is it actually just he can do cold? Yeah. He's no better than Frozone. Or Sub Zero. Nope. So yeah, there's certain characters where I'm like, no, absolutely not. But like, even though I was aware of Deathstroke, like well before like the video games. Do you know what those golden enemies are, by the way? The no second idea. one I've seen this sesh, and I, I actually am not sure what they do. Not anyway, sure. sorry, you were saying Frozone. Uh, Frozone. Um, no, even though I knew about Deathstroke for a long time, and when I had a couple of DC trading cards and I saw a Deathstroke card, I was like, oh, cool, because you know, his name is Deathstroke and yeah, Guns. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the hallmarks of being a good villain. Yeah. Um, so, but, like, ever <laughs> since Injustice games, uh, oh, no. specifically those, and um, got um, Arkham Origins, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, look how cool Deathstroke looks in these games, because his 80s look is a little cheesy. He's kind of like a pirate or whatever. Um, he had the little booties and stuff, and the MK versus DC, like the Deathstroke in there, I'm kind of like, eh. But when they give him, like, kind of, you know, Sentai-ish armor, like, cool mask and stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, Deathstroke's neat. God, his mask collection is wild. Like, he has so much good. Yeah. Do you remember the sick Deathstroke fights in Arkham Knight? Where he's in a tank? No. No. No, because I, like, out of all the Arkham games, Knight is the one I played the least. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay. Did you play much of the 2D one? 2.5D one? No, no. One by Armature. Well, remember I told you I played a little bit of it on that HD re-release, and you were like, no, I've heard that HD re-release is maybe yeah. not that great. Forget which way, maybe technically? I don't know. I, I've only heard that too online. Like, oh, I don't okay. I don't know the deets. I didn't rebuy it. Like, I, I finished the Vita version, and I was happy with that. So. Right. The 3DS no. version looks amazing, though, for a 3DS for a game. For like, game, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, like, um, yeah, is Deathstroke in that game? You know? I... I you remember? God. Because it's, it's, it's... That game's called Blackgate. What? Black, Arkham Origins Blackgate. Yeah, so, which, you know... Just the villains think. are... Cause it's non-linear. You get to fight them in whichever order you want. Yeah, so, so it's, it's actually, hard to remember, right? Yeah, the difficulty, like, 
changes in each area depending on which area you go to first. Mm. I believe it's Joker, Penguin. Actually, yeah, Deathstroke might be the third one, but I, okay. I, I can't remember. This is like I'm, a 2013 game. I'm really, I was actually like pretty 20 years ago. bummed that when they were gonna make that Ben Affleck Batman solo movie, and then now that's been completely retooled to be whatever it is now. Robert Pattinson, uh, Colin Farrell as as the Penguin and stuff. That that movie was supposed to be Ben Affleck versus Deathstroke, and that was the movie. So there's a Robert Pattinson Batman that's happening. Oh wow, really? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I have no idea. No, it's fine. It was like months ago they announced this, and lots of people were like, "Oh, fucking Twilight." And, and yeah, that guy. And, okay. And a lot of people and Robert Pattinson himself was like, "Dude, Twilight was like fucking ten years ago." Yeah, like, that's I hated true. Twilight as well. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. And now he's in like that really spooky horror movie from the director of um, The Witch. Really? Okay, I had no with idea. With Willem Dafoe and it's black and white as just two guys in a Lovecraft wow, horror movie that where they're stuck creepy in a, as fuck. Where they're stuck in a lighthouse for the entire movie. That sounds so creepy. Like Robert Pattinson has made a bunch of fucked up weirdo movies and hasn't done like schlock in a long time. Wow, good for him. I had no idea. That, so you didn't see that, that sounds, amazing quote from him where he's like, "No, wait, what? I, oh, I have, I have not been following Robert Pattinson. That, of course no, not. No, no, no. But this is only was like people found drudged this up where he's." In some obscure interview, he was like, yeah, so there is, like, all these fans hanging outside my, like, uh, hotel room and, like, whatever wherever I was at uh-huh. the time. And this one woman was always kind of stalking me. And eventually, one night, I got so bored, I brought her in. And I just started talking to her about my life and my problems. And then she stopped stalking me, and she never wanted anything to do with me again. <laughs> He's like, I was bored. That's so funny. Broadcast. What she deserves. <laughs> well, Eggman's here, so couldn't have been him. Who's taking my shine? That sexy hedgehog. Oh my god, it's called Dream News. Nice. News Combo 7. Oh, they identified him as Sonic. Why does everyone in this fucking universe do this? Are they blind? Are they headless? <laughs> Fuck, man. It's it's such a like, hard mistake to plus, make. Plus, it's not like Sonic's some unknown quantity that, that the world is barely familiar with. Yeah, no, the president loves Sonic. Yeah. Find them before they escape. Oh, arc memories. Phew, phew. Maria! Maria! She's so out of place. What? She looks like she's from American McGee's Alice. I beg of you, please Maria. do it for me. For all the people on the planet. Say the line, Shadow. I still remember what I promised you. God, I can't wait for like the RE2 caliber remake of this cutscene. Revenge. Whenever Sega gets round to that, it's yeah. gonna look so good. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I know it's gonna be a problem because her face isn't gonna look as good as it did in RE3, but So this highway <laughs> this highway claims to be radical. We'll see about that. Yeah, I'll be the judge. Okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> All that Deathstroke and Batman uh, talk to say that it was going to be Ben Affleck's Batman versus Deathstroke, oh, right, and that yeah. was going to be the solo movie, but then that all got canceled mm. and rebooted, and now it's going to be, like, origin story type thing where he's fighting classic villains. And... Okay, I mean, that sounds fine. But it sucks because the actor that got to that got casted to be Deathstroke had that little cameo in whatever, Justice League, the Lisa Snyder cut, hashtag. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, It'll fix it. And he's like, yeah, I'm I'm kind of just cut out. I never oh, really I got to play Deathstroke. That sucks for him. Yeah, yeah. That sucks for him. So I don't actually have the light speed dash right now, so I can't actually do that. But it might just be up here, honestly. So uh, for a second, at the beginning of the stage, I was ha- I was having this weird feeling, and I just could not describe it. I was like, what? why am I feeling this way? What is going on It's called here? a panic attack. It's called a panic attack. <laughs> I can't feel my arm. No. This this song that's playing right now i was like it's really good but what is it about this song and it's my 3ds theme is the shadow the hedgehog theme and it plays this song on loop and that's why this song was hitting me so weird where i was like what the fuck why do i know this song so well why can't i place it so i'm so anyway go buy the shadow 3ds theme (laughs) 
It's lovely. It's the best one this side of the Dreamcast theme. So I'm not gonna say that one franchise or one thing is better than the other. My 3DS theme is the Snake Eater one that came cool. with uh, the MGS Snake Eater, whatever that was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but my theme is better than the Shadow <laughs> theme. I'm sorry. Uh, Shadow theme is nice. I like it. We have yeah, sure, I'm, I'm sure that's good for you. Um, thank you. Uh, plus, what am I talking about? Like that version of Snake Eater is like oh. one of the worst versions of anything ever. It's such an interesting version of the game, but yeah, interesting. No, it's not. It was going to be. Remember that? Oh yeah. I mean, like it's different, but I still think it's pretty neat. Like some of the stuff it's got going for it. It's like it's got crouch walking. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, that stuff. But do you just remember sure, how yeah. like that it was originally going to be a much much different game? Yeah, I but wish then, it could like, be. Can whatever. I not jump on this? Fuck. Whatever it was that happened, I think that was uh, when whatever. Kojima was kind of on the outs with Konami, whatever it was. But that was going to be like a much more revamped remake with tons of new stuff, and then they were just kind of like, no, just 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 put the Snake Eater on the 3DS and just change one or two right. couple things. Yeah, I think that's... Remember, it had that really interesting trailer where it was like a 3D camera going to all Abs these different yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. And it was super cool, and but you weren't sure what this was going to be, you know? Yeah, no, I, I think that was a bit before Kojima was on the outs, as yeah, it were. Yeah, maybe, maybe. He still did a bunch of other stuff after that. So. Yeah, okay, I was just trying to remember the time. Frame. He still had his whole transfaring push after that. Oh, so. God, I forgot about that. Yeah, how could I? Um, yeah. Uh, the dude, but like the actual best 3DS theme might be the Dreamcast one. Do you remember the the no, audio on that one? So the fuck, man, I can't hit. Any Wait, of these why things. was the fuck was there a shadow thing even on the 3DS? What was it for? Nothing. It was just shadow theme. It was just the shadow just theme. Just raw, uncondemned shadow theme. Yes, I loved it. <laughs> um, but the Dreamcast theme, you boot it up and it does the. And it plays a bunch of oh, disc whirring serious? noises. Yeah, oh my god. It, it plays the whirring noises too. Though. You gotta lean into it. You gotta lean into it. Oh, there we go. Like there's like, okay. the t Okay, maybe there's a third one. I don't know of it. But top two noisiest consoles is like Dreamcast. And then after that, I think I want to say PS3. Yeah. Oh, specifically, my PS3 is the noisiest fucking motherfucker that's ever, like, turned on. Ooh, I got one of the gold ones there. I, wasn't the GameCube kind of noisy, or am I crazy? Did the GameCube, the GameCube you could hear the disc a little, but it wasn't... I wouldn't put it as noisy or anything. I wouldn't think like, any Nintendo console is known to be noisy. Yeah, I wouldn't think so either. No. Um, but, you know, depending on who you ask, the PS4 as well, Here like... Vanilla yeah, PS4s I guess, I can so. like attempt to go to space depending on which <laughs> game you're playing. All right, fair enough. I I, 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 I remember seeing someone's video and it was yeah, it was like it was taking off. He was. But it wasn't God the standard though. It was just kind of the model or just the how it was. You no, know, it, it was a standard PS4 head. playing God of War and it was just, <laughs> trying to leave the atmosphere. <laughs> Thought it was trying to make like a Kratos impression. Yeah, well, he's not like that anymore. So. No, it was, it'd be ah, well, I mean, even in the, <laughs> the even in the latest God of War, he, he kind of belted out some yells here and there. Yeah, a couple times. All right, I don't know what it is. Whenever, like, let's say maybe not just a Sonic game, but Sega games in general, if like, oh, nice, you fucking that got dark me. Shit. You fucking um, got me. If if a jet comes roaring by, I do get a little excited. I'm like, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> no, it's such a thrill, right? Could you keep be, up for it. Could whatever. that be Mr. Afterburner? Himself? Yeah. On his way to Bayonetta? After, after, my last name is Burner. That wasn't so oh, Mr. Burner is my dad's name. <laughs> Did you I'm see that, that um, Sega 2009 Christmas card that's been floating around Twitter a little bit? Sega, Sega 2009? So it's a 2009... Oh, God, I can only imagine what... ...Christmas card what? that Sega sent around to, like, all the outlets, right? And it's got uh, Bayonetta in like uh, a Christmas sweater, Fred, holding I I wrapped in, yes. in, a, in a gift. Sonic's there, and also the alien. <laughs> I believe that's everyone on the card. It's wonderful. Oh my god! I think I retweeted it earlier. You should see it. It's so Why good. would you ever make a Christmas card with a character you know you're not gonna have the license for forever? Who fucking cares? It's so good. <laughs> Although, to be fair, Sega, I guess, has had that license for a long time because they just re uh, they yep. have that Alien Isolation uh, Switch, uh, version. Switch version, which I assume Sega also published. Yeah, they did, yeah. So Apparently they've had that, that for a long time. Yeah. They got it on lock. 
apparently that version is really good. Yeah, well, it's fucked up when I see a uh, thumbnail and title in a Digital Foundry video saying, Switch Alien Isolation better than PS4, and I'm like, yeah, God. no, I looked at some comparisons and there, there's an argument to be made there for sure. Yeah, even if you can make the argument, that's impressive enough just yeah. based on that. Oh, without so. a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's amazing. The alien. I knew you're going to like, I was like, okay, there's only one reason Liam would bring this up is if there's one fucking weirdo, stupid character. I thought alien. it was going to be Spartan from Total Warrior Spartan oh, or right, something. Oh, eh? right, No. And I, Bayonetta in a Christmas sweater looks all sorts of fucked up. So... I guess. Is it like poorly done or does it just look weird? It's both. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it's both things. Both, really? It yeah. scratches both itches. <laughs> Three hands. Creepy. Okay, this TV... Man, it looks real bad. I, maybe if you hadn't oh, talked about it, I wouldn't have noticed how ghoulish yeah. her, her run really is. I know. Her Just her, her spine doesn't move. Like, it's completely rigid. The base of her neck, it's lovely. It's, as uh, Saga team is all like, this is what a Batwoman would look like when she walks, yeah, right? The, the, the one guy who made her in this game is like, <laughs> yeah, yes, the perfect woman. <laughs> Created at last. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Finally. The, I, I am my own version of weird science now, and I have created <laughs> the perfect female form. The, the, a lot of Egyptian motifs, specifically with, I guess... Both knuckles, uh, sorry, knuckle, and and rouge here. I guess this is just their tile set. Well, remember we go to the. Um, okay, I gotta get my digging tool. There we go. The, the drill mitts. Um, you see it in a small. What was that? I'll read it again. Oh, you could just look at the options. I'll just wait for ten seconds here. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you literally see the pyramids in this game. Yeah, I actually yeah, saw it in near the other. ceiling in a small room by a path. By a path. By a path. Um, okay. you, you see the pyramids outside, and I was actually wondering if, like, they just used photos of the pyramids to texture them, yeah, maybe. honestly, and, like, Egypt around it, because it looked pretty solid in that one scene where Sonic and, uh, Sonic and uh, Shadow were grinding around the pyramids. I'm always of two minds about this. You know the types of games, it's usually Japanese games, but they don't exclusively have to be where they're like, oh, we're going to be making like this game or a level that takes place here. Yeah. Send five people to that country slash continent to do a research trip. And maybe that doesn't happen as often anymore, but even like as a younger person, when I would, IGN is like, they spent like... You know, Yu Suzuki and his team went to China for like three months. I'm like, mm -hmm. even back then, I was like, isn't that a kind of a massive waste of money? I get it. I know? think it's necessary. I think it's a good idea. I'm not idea. sure. It, with the advent of the internet and the the amount of information you can get the internet relative to today, back to like when uh, uh, Shenmue was being made, for example, maybe back then you might need to do it. But like, I don't know if it needs to be done nowadays. I, I think to get the like the real level of authenticity you want, you really need to do that. Because oh. like the devil's in the details, right? Oh, you're totally right. Oh, that Jesus. would happen if you go. But I'm not sure whether it gives that much more detail versus the cost that it might incur like a company. If they have the money to spend, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, sure, I, I know Ubisoft does this a lot for their Assassin, well, for, oh, all, yeah. for all of their titles. To, to be fair, and though, I think it's money very well spent. To be fair, though, it's a good likelihood that Ubisoft already has a studio in that country, no, sure, and they sure. could just have them do it. But still, though, they do send people out, and I think, no, it, no, I think I, it helps them a lot, for, honestly. For Ubisoft specifically, pick and nails. for Assassin's Creed, pick nails. Doesn't your wife have these? She's got a lot. You can, she, yes, I've seen her do this it's, before. It's at the battle station. <laughs> Last time she was on a wall, she went right there. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! There you go. I wasn't expecting that. Nice. Oh, I thought you just hit like a random block that had it. That that was like oh, a fake no, block. Oh, no, I wish. No. That would but really yeah, help. But yeah, like, no. I, for, for Assassin's Creed games, I, I get that. That it's, it's pretty much woven into that game's DNA. But... I'm trying to put my finger on it, but I remember certain games where I'm like, really? You spent... Like, well, one notable thing is, like, they had the money to do that for Deadly Premonition. Swearian is, like, a couple of people oh, did that. Aww, fuck. Aww, oh, damn. Got it. Sorry, everybody. What were you saying? 
<laughs> uh, Sh- Shwery and his team went to like the Pacific Northwest to, like, for weeks to get pictures for Deadly Premonition. Yeah. And I'm like, but it looks terrible. <laughs> you know, the game, the game looks like a real fake shitty. Maybe that was the point. I think it probably paid off, you know, like just having that that first hand experience of getting to go to a diner, you know, getting to go to places you just can't go. Maybe without that trip, maybe Deadly Premonition wouldn't actually be the game it is today. Maybe you're right. Yeah, like I I firmly think that those sorts of things are really, really helpful. Although it is definitely worth it for I'm not sure if you've seen or or knew about this, but like I think in maybe the PS3 special edition, maybe it was in the vanilla version, but you can unlock all their research trip photos and there's like hundreds of them. For Deadly Premonition. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And you know they they probably use that stuff to drive a lot of their like art asset creation, like for their textures and their models and some of that. You know, so but, I think they probably got a lot of but value for out of Pre- it. Like maybe they got like a deal on, on Expedia or something and it didn't cost them that much. <laughs> but for what a deadly premonition cost, I was like, man, you think you would have spent more time, like you know, making the map be good or <laughs> and making the game have good performance or something? I mean, I don't know. Not like know. a trip. You need to you need to take the trip. You need to get the authentic look. You of, know, of the center sandwich. Of of everything, you know. Yeah. And it's like no amount of sweary and a few other people going on a trip was gonna make the art like magically godlike. That's true. You know, it was never gonna look like uh, God of War Ascension. That looks good, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, they went to ancient Greece too. And, and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> it really does show. If there's any of them where it doesn't show, it would probably be Ascension. That game's actually really nice, though, honestly. Nah, I mean, I, I, I gave it a good chance. Like, I played two hours of the single camp single player campaign and I was like man this is yeah it's not a thrilling exciting. game or anything but I think it's really good looking so. oh it's really good looking yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. okay the key should be around here where where, where, where are we looking where the red flame is uh, where I don't the think red that's flame right. be under the shadow of the short pillar oh okay oh, oh. god every time <laughs> the short pillar so there's these two short pillars they're short but the exclamation marks was yeah, here, so yeah. maybe it's on the ground here? Nope. Nice, there, there we go. Okay. Hey, look at that. Tips, well written. I mean, it's helping. It's not not helping. They're it's super helpful. Unhealthy. Dude, without these tips, it would be a fucking nightmare. I do really like the gorilla. The gorilla. Oh, up there? Animal? Yeah. Oh, he's I can, cute. Here, I'll get him for you. He's no, uh, he's no Rilla boom, but, you know, kind of you know it's fine. See that ridiculous article on Destructor a few weeks back where it says Grookey's evolutionary tree is the ugliest of all Pokemon games. And <laughs> everyone's like, I, I think a couple of people were like, this isn't it. I don't like Grookey's evolution. That's very fine. Much. Would you say it's the worst? Is this the worst? I don't know. I don't know who the worst is in my book, honestly. I have no idea. Well, that guy, he's not he's the worst cute. at all. There you go. I got him. Actually, I, had a, I already had one, so it was kind of a waste, but. Whatever. I, yeah, you I don't, got him for me. Yeah, and you're very welcome. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Grookey's evolutions very much. Okay, here we go. Red, red flame. Under the red flame. I believe. Whoa! Oh, sure. Whoa! Get <laughs> fucked. Yeah, maybe that was deserved. Shit. Human skull. Is it not under the red flame? It may not have been under. It may have just been in this room. But usually you get a little exclamation mark. All right, well now it's not. Yeah. Let's see when the exclamation mark pops up. They go higher over it. But don't hit. There you go. There you go. So just buy the red flame. Good enough. Nope. Nope. Not quite. Not quite. Skull though. Skull that's attached to the wall. Oh my god. (laughs) Fuck this game. (laughs) There we go. Okay. It's so strict for that specific. Yeah, time. yeah. I think there's a good argument to be made for like when you're in the zone with the exclamation mark, you could, you should probably just get I it. I but a too much time. Yeah, well, that's not our fault that time. Gee, I did is better. It was, it was a, a big improvement on the E from last time. So yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I won't beat myself up too much over this one. Try to perform a high score press on leaderboards. We're good. Damn it. You're gonna like fucking quit out of the game. <laughs> <laughs>
gone. Uh, so that are like you know we're gonna have to reset because that our speed run is yeah now. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. We're not gonna hit sub one hour now. It's a space transporter. Whoa! This is the the text on this window isn't scrolling upwards. It's just stretching slowly upwards from the bottom. I like that. I like that. That's so neat. It looks like it's scrolling when it scrolls, but it's actually just stretching. That's such a funky solution. Like I know it's the Dreamcast essentially, but I like how uh, Rouge's arms are bolted to her torso and not mm. like attached to them. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's how it works. 